So here's a quick Photoshop tutorial on how to make a brush that looks like a magic marker, uh, like back in the day. Uh, and the good thing about this is it doesn't smell like old school magic markers, so you won't get a headache. All right, let's go check it out. Here we go. All right, to make the magic marker brush, what you need to do is open up a blank document. I'm in a seven inch by five inch by 300 pixel per inch uh, document. It's the default Photoshop size. I'm going to go to the view menu and click on show and then show the grid, command or control apostrophe, and then the view menu and snap to grid should be on as well. Let's go zoom in to one of these one by one grid squares. The first thing that we need to do is create a texture um, that we'll be using in the brush itself. So I'm gonna make a one inch by one inch selection with my marquee tool. I'll go to the filter menu to noise and I'm going to add noise. And the amount of noise is really low so it should be like five or six. It should be Gaussian, that's just the way the the pixels get distributed and it'll be monochromatic, meaning it'll just be black and white as opposed to full color. Go ahead and click on OK. The next thing we'll do is go to the Edit menu, Transform and Scale. Um, and we want to scale this down 50%, so I'm just going to drag this to halfway. I could also go up to uh, the submenu and type in 50 here as well to do that. And I'll click on OK. Now I need to deselect this and, uh, at this stage. So Command or Control D to deselect it. And then I'm going to make a selection around it again. And the reason that I'm doing this is Photoshop doesn't like that um, after you do a transformation and then try to make a texture from it, it doesn't like that. So I have to deselect it and then make the selection again. Now we'll go to the Edit menu and define the pattern. And we can call this something like light texture, or something that you can find in your patterns and click on OK. Now you can deselect that permanently. The next thing we're gonna do is take the marquee tool again. Now we're gonna be making the brush and we're gonna set the feather to two. And we'll make a selection that fits into a one by three area. And we'll go to the edit menu and fill and what we want to do is fill this in with a color. And the color is going to be a very light gray and you can use the hexadecimal code CCCCCC and click on OK. And then click on OK here. And now that fills it in with a fuzzy uh, gray blob. Now you can go to Command or Control D to deselect. I'll change my feather back to zero and I'll make a rectangular selection around this uh, that goes fairly wide on all four sides. Now we'll go to the Edit menu and define Brush Preset and we'll call this Magic Marker Brush. I'm going to call mine 01 and I'll click on OK. And now I can deselect. Now what I have to do is make some settings to uh, the brush and then I'll save it as a preset. So to get to my brush settings, I'll go to the window menu and click on brush settings. And this has the last brush that I've made in here. Um, and the first thing I wanna do under brush tip shape is I wanna change the spacing down to 1%. And what that means is that this is referred to as the brush tip. And the brush tip is, is copied a number of times. Um, if I set the spacing to one, it just means that there's not going to be any gaps in between all those instances. The next thing I want to do is go to texture. And I'm going to use a texture that we just created. So I'm going to cl uh, click on the drop down and I'm going to find the texture. And I'll go back up here. And then what I want to do is make some adjustments to how the texture is applied. Uh, for the brightness, I want it to be minus 70, so I don't want the texture to be super apparent in here. And for contrast, I want that to be minus 50. And then for the mode, meaning the way that the, the brush tip and the texture is applied, I'm going to change that to multiply. And now what you can do is you can test it out. So I'll take my brush tool 
and I'll drag this on my screen. Let me turn off the grid and turn off snap to grid. So view menu, snap to grid and uncheck that. So it's off, since the grid is off, that's not uh, visible now. And now you can see when I draw this out, I have this really lovely soft brush um, that I can use for all sorts of you know, coloring and texturing um, and giving kind of more of an old school or hand-drawn look. Uh, I can change the color. And let me zoom in a little bit. And uh, obviously you can build up color this way. The way this brush works um, really well is if you change the opacity and if you change the blending mode to something like multiply. And this way you can just slowly build up these textures. Um, if you hold shift down between clicking, you can draw these straight lines. Um, so you might want to use this as a way to fill in an area if you're doing some hand rendering or something along those lines. You can blend it with color. So if you have multiply turned on, you can begin blending this together. Um, and again, getting more of a, a real natural look to the way you're applying color to mimic something that you would be doing by hand. Um, so it's a really versatile brush. I, I really, uh, I, I just, I love the texture of it. It's nice and soft. I think it has a lot of applications. Um, and uh, yeah, so go try it out, write your name out in it, see what that looks like. Pretend you're kind of spray painting with it. Um, I think if you probably set it to dissolve, you can get like a really nice spray paint texture perhaps. Uh, that might be kind of cool. Uh, change the opacity up for that. Yeah, sure, that kind of looks like spray paint. Um, anyway, there's lots that you can do with it. Uh, have fun. Um, color something in and let me, uh, let me see what you made. All right, we'll see you in the next video.